Hello everyone, this is Alan and welcome back to Final Fantasy VI Brave New World. God, I love this game. At the end of the last episode, I said I was going to go back to Jador to buy healing items. Well, I went there, and they didn't have any. <laughs> they had like really expensive crap that I don't need. So I had to walk all the way back to Colingen to uh, buy some more dried meats and a couple more Phoenix Downs. I basically ran uh, from all the fights, except maybe a couple. So, um... I didn't really get any levels, I didn't really get, get any gold. So yeah, that's that about covers it. And that was really stupid of me. I don't know why I did that. Uh, not a bio blaster. Drill, there you go. Twister. Oh, that's nothing. But yeah, so that, that sucked, having to walk all the way back. Was not pleasant. Oh wow, that's gold. Now we're gonna enter the opera house. But he, he's already gonna ruin the play. He's gonna steal Maria. You just said it yourself. Idiot. Okay, that could work. Boom! Slams him back. That's why the decoy, obviously. Brilliant. God, that must have fucking hurt. She just ran all out into that door. <laughs> Why would you have to sing your own name in an opera? Freaking Ultros, coming back for more. What a jackass. <laughs> oh, God. This is probably one of the most famous scenes in JRPG history. I mean, not this one, obviously, but the actual play, the actual opera itself. It's something that really had never even come close to being attempted in a JRPG. I mean, this takes the musical capabilities of the Super Nintendo and pushes past them. This is a technological marvel. I'm probably not going to be talking much during it. I hate operas and everything. This is like such an iconic scene. Pro backdrop. <laughs> I 
Which is Maria's pretty funny. Lights are on, for some reason. <laughs> Why is everyone singing? Oh, classic saving. That's in the original game too, it's good stuff. Oh, he's all embarrassed. So red. Nah, screw that. I ain't reading shit. I can't sprint. I can't even check the menu to give her weapons. What if she needs it out there? It's disgusting that I know the lyrics to this. I played the game so much. One, two, one. That's how I always remembered it as a kid. I'm controlling her. What kind of dancing is this? How did he turn into flowers? What kind of practical effects is this opera using? Are they using CGI? I mean, they do have a castle somehow. This is a huge fucking prop. I wonder how much it costs to make this set.
Chancellor from Igoro, obviously. Just the music in that part, man. Umatsu, that's like his masterpiece. I bet the game designers put that in just so that he could show off how badass he is. Good job talking to yourself. How's the letter getting here? Dancho, that's the empresario's name. I owe you one, so I'm gonna screw up your opera. Fighting is that? Oh yeah, a chocobo. Come on, how the hell do you do that SNES game? It took me five? No, six minutes to try. <laughs> Far right. Okay, I'm gonna do something I don't do. Um, I'm just gonna do, use the save state. I do not want to go through that again. How convenient. Yes, we do need to go up on the rafters. And there's plenty of time. I mean, you can't do this without using sprint shoes. So, having a sprint ability will make this a joke, but just in case for some reason those rats are godlike. Okay. Oh, I forgot which ones you want to kill. Oh god. There's uh... I think you wanna keep the yellow ones? You're gonna kill them first? He's almost dead. Please kill him, Fire Dance. What? Okay, yeah. Wow. Oh, you had a lot of magic. And the time is still running. In the window. We have to fight this guy. We have plenty of time, though. Holy crap. Oh, yeah, he's got the hell. He got a hell knuckle equipped. I remember now. Oh, 
Come on, stay up there. There you go. There we go. Yeah, four minutes to spare. Boom. Now, if you really want the experience and whatnot, you can't fight those other rats. I don't see the need to. Oh, you know, the crowd is muttering. I think they would probably freaking out there's a fucking huge octopus on the stage. <laughs> Crowd doesn't care, they still clapped. Can't fight in here. This is the war room. <laughs> Let's see how much his regular attack does. Okay, he has a thousand. Um. Yeah, I'm kind of gonna keep lock on standby. I think. So he's poisoned, or that either that or it's um. What's it called? Seizure from Drill. Better. Oh, no, not dead already. You want the truth? You can't handle the truth! <laughs> nice. Okay. Lock gives Sabin a quick heal. I'm surprised the Hell Claw doesn't cause fire. Is it even fire elemental? I give him a <laughs> Nice. Oh, get dodged, son. To be or not to be? That is the question. Imp song. Okay, a little remedy action. He's still does some damage. Even as an imp. Oh god. Tonic time. This is madness. No way. <laughs> this is opera. <laughs> Asa la vista, baby. Uh, we win. <laughs> it's awesome, man. They made ultras even better. If only he would have said like Saban, I am your father, or Locke. Can't leave off famous quotes like that one. Maybe the fight goes on longer, he does say that. I ended it pretty quick. I'm a man my word, music man. He can fly? I mean, Act 2 normally comes up, like, right after Act 1. Like, a, a play is... I don't understand this. Because now the crowd's going to expect Setzer and Locke and all of them. They're not going to be there. They're going to be so disappointed, man. They're going to cry. Whoa! Lab's affection? Wow. It's pretty, uh, pretty racy. Oh, the old wink to us. Breaking the fourth wall.
<laughs> Sabin has nothing to say. They're already in, Setzer. Okay. She is unequipped of all of her items. Kind of. Give her items back. The Empire's ruined my business. How? Oh, man. Make sure you think this over. It's not your business, Locke. None of your goddamn business. What the hell, Edgar? <laughs> now that's the coin that Edgar flipped with Saban back in the uh, Figaro to decide who gets to leave. What I want to know is how did Sellies know about it? How the hell did she know about that coin? We're flying! We got our first airship! Yeah, he's uh, going pretty hardcore with those uh, gambling metaphors. Oh man, look at those lights in the back, that is fucking cool. Looks like they're having a concert. There are lights in the sky. Such a cool cutscene. Okay. Now, if you enter here, talk to this dude, you get free healing. Darts don't need that. Oh, I didn't give Sally's her Esper back. Okay. We'll check this town out. Albrook. Then we can buy some tonics, dried meat. We're good on tents and all that stuff, though. Uh, 
So, yeah, they kind of tell it's occupied by, uh... Oh, I play a bit base near the mountains of the east. Ha, ah, that's the one. Let's see what relics they have. Okay, nothing new. They do have another Dragoon Seal and a Stat Stick. Those are pretty nice. An elixir? And now it's like the cafe with a bunch of Imperial troopers and some dancers. No, we don't want to go that way though, because that's basically where we came from. <laughs> Looking for good equipment? You're not going to find it here. This stuff's not bad. And we already have it all, but it's not bad. Oh, what am I doing? Tease. Remember that for later, because that actually will uh, come into play. Sakura? Should I buy one? Hmm. Randomly cast break? Okay. Buy one each. One thing I learned when I was doing, um... Grinding on the belt for rages and stuff is that break in this game doesn't inflict stone, it actually does like damage. I think it's like wind elemental, I assume. But well, that's pretty freaking cool. Okay. Next time on Final Fantasy VI, we explore this continent. You know, check out some cities, see some sites. Yeah, till then, thanks for watching everyone. Out on out.